Okay, first we need to remove the distant pads. The way you do this is, first thing you do is clamp off the brake pipe, use some special brake pipe pliers, or you can use some mole grips, but be gentle. And then undo the brake union from the caliper. That's a 14 mil bolt, so get a 14 mil spanner, and undo it out the back. Once you've done that, get a screwdriver in here, and pry the caliper across. So jam a screwdriver between the disc and the caliper and pull it towards you. What we're doing is we're, we're pulling the piston towards us and that'll make the caliper actually move a little bit. It basically makes it easier to remove in a few minutes once we've done all the bolts. Once you pry it across with your screwdriver, next thing is undo the two. Next thing is to undo the two caliper carrier bolts. There's two at the back, one at the top, one at the bottom, there's 17 mil. You will need a big bar because they will be very tight. Undo these two bolts, and then the car butt will just pull away. The reason we the, we, the reason we pried it earlier on is because this has a lip on. Without you prying it and releasing the carper, you would never you would have never pulled the carper off the disc. <clears throat> Once the disc is removed, be sure to get a wire brush or some sandpaper or something. Wire brush is obviously best though, but whatever you can, and give this a good rub down. Spend a good minute or so on it. You don't want any rust or build up or any debris behind here. So it'll make your disc vibrate when you break. So make sure this surface is 100% clean. Once the one disc is removed, you need to remove the 10 mil bolts and remove the, sh the backing plate to make room for the new disc. Once the disc and cover is removed, we need to remove the backing plate. There's four 10 mil bolts, two at the top and two at the bottom. Under these bolts, you're then going to have to get a little hacksaw or some side cutters. There's a piece of metal that joins it up here. Cut that piece of metal away and basically just completely remove this backing plate. Once you receive your new brake kit, you first have to mount the bracket to the caliper. It is important you do this prior to attempting to fit the kit onto the vehicle. When mounting the car bar onto the hub, you have to put the bolt through from the back obviously, but the only way to access this nut is through from the brake pad. So before fitting the brake pad, you need to fit that nut through there. What you can do is jam the nut onto the end of the spanner, slot it through and then wind it on with your fingers. And the good thing with the top nut, you can just about see here, it's actually touching on the caliper. So you actually don't need to spanner on that one at all. Make sure you do these bolts up very, very tight and also use some Loctite to secure them in place. Be sure to grease up the back and the edges of the pad before installing into the caliper. Be sure to grease up the pins before installing. Once the pins are inserted, use a C-clip to keep the pins in place. <laughs> 